Time now for this week's Ask Kelly segment, and today's question comes from Lisa Reed. Lisa says, I have heard we have a fourth river under the three. Is that true? Also, does one of the rivers flow in the opposite direction? Some really great questions, Lisa, and I was able to get you some answers. The rumor that Pittsburgh has a fourth river that we can't see from the surface has long been a part of Pittsburgh urban legend. So it's a really fun trivia fact. Uh, I totally understand why people call it an underground river or a fourth river because it is flowing water and it does have a channel. Heather Van Tassel is executive director of Three Rivers Waterkeeper. She's with us today to do some myth busting about this fourth river. While there is a waterway crossing from the south side to the north shore, it doesn't qualify as a river. By definition, it's an aquifer. The difference there is when you think about underground rivers, think about caves and water flowing through there. There's, you know, a void that the water is running through where the aquifer itself is actually filled with sand, gravel, silt, um, and that's really filled up over time. So this aquifer running through the porous rock layer underneath our rivers dates back to the Ice Age. And during that period, there is a large glacier, and as it melted, it left behind a divot. And also, a glacier isn't just water. It actually has a lot of sediment inside the glacier. And as it melted, it left behind that sediment, and that's what created that aquifer. The aquifer was discovered many years ago by someone tapping in looking for some clean groundwater. For years, the aquifer is what powered the fountain at the point. Also, several buildings in the Golden Triangle still use the aquifer for heating and cooling. And to this day, it's also used for the water feature at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center, which has unfortunately been turned off since COVID, but is set to come back this spring. So as for the second part of your question, Lisa, do the rivers ever flow in the opposite direction? Heather told us, yes, the Monongahela and the Allegheny actually do. They both kind of start flowing a little bit north and then kind of dip down and flow another direction. So just because they're flowing north doesn't mean they're flowing upstream. So that's kind of a misconception. There's quite a few different rivers and streams that do flow north for short periods of time. And that's because they're flowing through a mountain or the downstream is actually down the mountain, but it is north. So essentially, our topography and mountainous landscape do leave the rivers flowing different ways at different times. Really great questions. That was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for that, Lisa. If you have a question I can get answered for you, let me know. You can leave me a voice message at the number on your screen, 412-244-4610. Or you could jump straight in, send me a video message. You can share that in a Facebook message or by emailing askkelly at hearst.com.